Hey everybody, this is Nick from Android Headlines. Today we're taking a look at the new Nexus family of devices, specifically Android 6.0 Marshmallow running on the Nexus 6P. The first thing we're going to take a look at here is the brand new Google Camera app that ships with Marshmallow and the new Nexus devices. So right off the top, you're going to notice that the interface is a little bit different from the old Nexus camera. You still got that big black bar on the side where you press the shutter button and all that, but now swiping left and right moves between photo and video mode, and the overall interface looks a lot like the OnePlus 2s, to be quite honest. On the top right in the video mode, you're going to find your toggles for flash and for slow-mo video. The Nexus 6P can go up to 240 FPS, whereas some other phones only go to 120 FPS. Other modes like Photosphere and Panorama and your settings are going to be found on that left hand menu again. In the photo mode now, you're going to find that there's a brand new burst mode where you just hold the shutter button and a lot like some other camera software out there, it will basically just take a whole bunch of shots at once. The Nexus 6P can do up to 30 frames a second at once. Moving back to the home screen, we're going to take a look at the brand new Google Now on Tap. Now on Tap is a brand new feature in Marshmallow that reads the information on your screen and tries to do a quick Google search based on what it finds. So in this pre-canned conversation in the messaging app, you're going to find that they're talking about Taylor Swift. So you hold the home button, pulls up Google now on top, and it shows Taylor Swift, gives you her Instagram feed, Twitter feed, that sort of thing. It works really well for directions, for any other information that you would not would normally have to look up and copy and paste. It's just one less step to have to do. Another new feature in Marshmallow is the fingerprint recognition. Specifically, we're going to take a look at the fingerprint recognition on the Nexus 6P. So what's really impressive about this is that it only takes a few presses to actually uh, read your fingerprint. In some other phones, you have to do it for quite a while. The Nexus 6P only took six presses to actually register my whole fingerprint. And I found that it was really, really accurate, even with only those few presses. By default, it's going to automatically activate the fingerprint security. So as long as you have a pin or a pattern or something like that, you can just turn the screen on by pressing your fingerprint against the sensor. It's literally instantaneous. As soon as I put my finger on the back of the sensor, it unlocks the device. You can do this with either the screen off or the screen on. So if you want to check your notifications first before going in there, you can do that. The overall interface for Marshmallow is going to be very similar to Lollipop. Right here, I'm just deleting the old fingerprint real quick, but it's really easy to do that too. You can add up to five fingerprints. You'll find that overall Marshmallow doesn't look a whole lot different from Lollipop. And in all honesty, the operation isn't that much different from Lollipop either. But of course, they kept the little Easter egg here with uh, Flappy Droid. They just sort of refined it a little bit. And in all honesty, that's what the rest of the OS feels like anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this little preview of Marshmallow. It should be dropping here this week, and we'll be able to give you a full review after that happens. Thanks for watching, and check out more of our Nexus coverage as well. Until next time.